Hey, travelers! Another week, and it's more quarantine time. So, Beth's back with me. Hello. Still here. Still here. Still in the house. But uh, n- never fear. We still have Vicky and Alex in their house just down the block. Yep. So, uh, they're, they're with us this week. Uh, no Andy because he's too lazy. And <laughs> <laughs> he'd admit to it. And then, uh, of course, Troy is somewhere out there with his depression beard. Uh, I checked on him. He's alive. I hope he doesn't shave that off before we can see it. Right. Because I would like to see it. Hopefully, we get a vlog in with him in his in his depression beard. It's it's pretty oh, good. The he's getting, I could shave it off. He's <gasps> getting yeah. He's getting to look a lot like Greg Zappa. Oh no. Yeah. Hmm. That's what I heard anyway. So anyway, we've got uh, we've got only one beer this week. Uh, we're we're trying to um, you know ration the beer, even though I've got a whole fridge of it now. So you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. It someone's ha- birthday. It helps to have a birthday. It was every someone's year. birthday. Yeah. We went shopping. Well, I went shopping. You went shop. You were very nice. There are a lot of beers in there, so there's going to be a lot of beers ahead on the vlog. However, this week, I I did a beer trade with someone in South Dakota, so it was nice. I got some beers back. And, um, yeah, it was good. Um, I don't get, and obviously when, when we're stuck in Wisconsin, I can't go to South Dakota anymore. And, uh, when you see beer online and you go, you, you get, uh, you get a little bit of FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. I know you don't, you don't know that acronym yet. So anyway, does one of one of my very favorite candy bars from when I was a kid was Twin Bing in South Dakota. In South Dakota, because it doesn't make it this far east. No, nope. and it's chocolate with cherry filling on the inside, cherry nougat, nuts on the outside. It's really good. Ugh. Yeah. Well, you're a communist, so <laughs> your whole family is a cherry <laughs> fan, though. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I mean, the the backstory to this is every time my dad would go and fill up with gas. They always had the twin being, you know, display inside, and it was like three twin beings for ninety nine. It was some something ridiculous. And they're like these you know? square packages, and they're red with just white writing on it, just like this can. Yep, just like the can. So it's the the uh, candy bar is made in Sioux City, Iowa. Um, then Fernson Brewing in Sioux Falls decided that they were going to make a beer. Team up. So I actually read up on this today. They've been wanting to do this or trying to do this for like a year or a little over a year now, and it, they, they couldn't get it right. And they finally got it right. And this stuff is selling like hotcakes there. I was very, very fortunate to be able to get my hands on a few cans. I did, you know, spread the love. I gave, I gave one to Jake. I think Troy got one. And I kept two for myself. Because Sharing I'm, I'm, is caring. I'm selfish like that. So I kept two for myself. Well, one was for the vlog and yeah. the other one is for you. Yep. And then we got some other beer that we'll probably feature on the vlog in, in future episodes too. But this one is, is for tonight. So and this one is close to his heart. Yeah, it is. And before I forget, before we get too deep into this, I, I want to remind all of you about the hot passport out there. Hi, Tango. How you doing? I want to remind all of you about the hot passport, the Wisconsin hot passport that we're still giving away because we'll probably still be able to go out in the bars. And if you listen to the protesters, we're going out into the bars real soon. So and if you're one of them, I, I'm not taking a side. But um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll still be able to get out there eventually. And that means free beer for you. So all you have to do, just like the people did last week, and thank you for all that commented, just Woo-hoo! say, just say, hey, I'd like to be included for the hot passport, and we'll draw the following Thursday. So the next vlog that you see after this one, we'll draw the name. I might even let you draw it. <gasps> that way, everybody knows it's fair, because Beth would never. I don't lie. No, I do. I lie a lot. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's dive into the beer. Don't forget about the hot passport, and then we'll talk about all the other stuff later. And we got all kinds of other things. And of course, Vicky and Alex do too. So let's dive into this guy. And it's a stout. It is a stout. So, it is a delicious. It's the Twin Bing Stout, pastry stout with chocolate, lactose, vanilla, and raspberry puree. Mm-mm. Now you would think on pouring this, Ooh. that it would be super thick, right? And more dark because it is more brown. Yeah. 
So that would indicate to me that it is probably not a sugar bomb, which Ooh, is smells good. which is also nice. You get a little bit of that nuttiness on the nose, a little bit of chocolate oh. nuttiness. It is so good. Oh, it tastes just like the candy bar. That's good. But not not like sugar bomb. Not like sugar bomb. And nobody wants a sugar well, I can't say nobody. Nobody in nobody, this house. Nobody in this house wants a sugar bomb. Ooh. That's good. That is a good beer. Wow. Wow. No wonder they not to be but it's good of them to wait to make sure that it was right. Yeah, they, and they made it, it is, right. Wow. That tastes that tastes mm. exactly like the candy bar. I'm not gonna lie to you. But it tastes like beer still. Yes. And if you ever make your way out to South Dakota, stop in a convenience store when you get in South Dakota wow. and you can pick up a twin being. And if you like cherry and you like nuts and chocolate and all that good stuff, you you can't go wrong. And it's not like a sour cherry taste. No. It's real, it's a sweet cherry. It's, it's good. Yeah. yeah, this is That's good. good. See, you thought you weren't gonna like it. I know, I thought it was gonna be gross. Can't believe I'm impressed. You. They that's good beer. After you preach to our children that they should try Yuck stuff it. and not Yeah. I tried it. Yeah, you did. And you liked it. Yep. Jake already said he liked his, so Ooh, it's good. Can't go wrong with his opinion. Yeah, great beer. So hats off to Fernson. Hats off to the people in South Dakota for willing to be uh, you know, swapping beers with me. Yeah. I'm Fernson, um, Snickers next time. My favorite candy bar. Yeah. If, if they do it just oh, like this, yum. you bet. That's Absolutely. good. And we've had, you know, candy bar beers before. Tin Whiskers has done uh, yes. a few of them. They're, the sign is right behind Beth. In St. Paul, Minnesota, they've done they've done a few of them. Salted Nut um, Roll. Yeah, and they're, they're working with... Um, Nut Goody, they've done. Is it Pearson Candy Company? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Pearson. Yep. So, uh, and Pearson's just down the road from them. Good. And theirs is good also. And they revamped their recipe. Um, I thought the first one was fine. They apparently got a lot of complaints and then, um, uh, they revamped the recipe oh, and now, tin it, yeah, now it even, it tastes even more like it now. So good on them for listening to, uh, the people that drink their beer. Well, yeah. yeah. I think that's really nice actually that they took that into account instead of just, well, oh, we made it how we want to make it. Right. Right. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to dive into tonight, so obviously the, you know, this is a stout. My fridge is pretty much full of stouts, imperial stouts, um, stouts of all kinds, and then imperial sours and those kinds of things, which is great. It is really not a problem to have. The problem is, is when you go to the fridge and you just want a beer, you just, I just want to have a beer tonight. I don't really want something that's going to knock me down. You know, I just just want to sit in my recliner and have a beer. Now, that's what we call burner beers around here. Or two here. beers. Right. <laughs> I didn't have any of those. So what did we have to do? Against our our better judgment, we went out and... Um, <laughs> we well, went to the grocery we went store to the for grocery supper. Store. We did have to... We did, yep. Yeah, we did have to go to the grocery store anyway, but... Um, we split up. I went into the grocery. I went into the liquor department. And one of our friends actually runs the liquor department in the store that we went to. So she's like, Landon, how's it going? What are you doing here? I said, I need burner beers. And yep. she goes, what the heck are those? I said, you know, when you just need a beer to pound back. Shout and out she, to you, Kathy. Yeah. Kathy at uh, Festival Foods. Festival on, Foods. Woo. What street is that? Melby? Birch. Birch. I always get the two confused. I don't know why. Anyway. Yeah. Great place. So, uh, what's your favorite burner beers? I guess. Actually, I like Summit Keller Pills. The problem is, is it's seasonal, and I can't find it anywhere. And we're not close enough to Cumberland, Wisconsin, who <laughs> has all kinds of it. Oh up my there. gosh! Yes. Uh, so, and I'm not willing to make a drive up there to get it. So. None of that for me. They have a good liquor store what, up there. What I did end up getting is some Lazy Monk, who has an Irish red out now. Mm, yes. And then Shells has, um, they have a lot of beers that I would consider burner beers. And so, yeah. 
got a got a wide variety of things to put in the in the door. Maybe you guys could comment below some of your favorite burner yeah, beers. Yeah, what are your favorite burner beers? I mean, Grain Belt. I drink Grain Belt. Pabst. Uh, <laughs> Pabst sometimes gets a little too sweet, and it's it's usually a decision between not having a beer and having a Pabst. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Let us let us know what you like to drink for burner beers. Maybe it's Liney's Light. I won't judge you. I've had a few of those in my day. So anyway, uh, a few more things that we have to talk about. I wanted to talk about swag that we have on our website. So tonight I'm wearing a Taproom Traveler's hoodie. It says Tapping the Midwest on the back. I'm not going to turn around to show you, but we have these on our website. You can yeah. actually get gear that has Taproom Traveler stuff on it. So if you really like us that much, and I, I really hope you do, uh, you can you can get Taproom Traveler stuff and uh, tell your friends and family about who we are and, and what we're doing and right or wrong, you know? <laughs> Um, the other thing is support local. I mean, we've talked about this over and over and over again since we've been inside or been forced inside. Uh, yeah, go out to your, your favorite local breweries. And, um, I just did a little piece with, uh, uh one of our friends, Aloe, that we met out at, um, Beer Now in Montana. He's doing a campaign on Facebook called Drink the Story. So hashtag Drink the Story. You can go out on Instagram or Facebook or whatever and just type in hashtag Drink the Story. You'll find all kinds of stories about local breweries. And he's out in California, so his stuff's in California. I did one about here in Altoona. I've done Lazy Monk, uh, Nonic, you know, those kinds of things. It's just telling stories about your favorite local brewery, why they're great to support, and uh, just some of their backstory because it, really comes down to most of these places are owned by families or, mm -hmm. you know, friends that got together and opened a place. So yep. they need our support now more than ever. Yep. Give them a shout out and tell them why you love them. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good time to do that. Mm -hmm. So other than that, I think that's it for this week. We've got plenty more beer uh, every week. I don't want you to forget about the hot passport. Leave a comment. Make sure you tell us you want a Wisconsin hot passport. And if you come to Wisconsin when everything's open again, give us a shout. We love nothing more than going out with and meeting new people and drinking beer. So um, the other thing is we have a podcast. So you yes. can find us. I got us on Stitcher this week. Uh, we're on Google. We're on a bunch of other ones. I don't remember the other ones now. It's tough getting old. Where can they find information about that? You can find information... Well, if you just type in Taproom Travelers After Hours Podcast into Google, you'll find it. Perfect. Uh, that's that's the best place to find anything about that podcast. And it's just us. We we have more than it's just us. It's, you know, Jake and Troy and Andy and There's all not the a people. lot of me. It's just mainly the... It's the main players <laughs> yep. usually. Yeah. Yep. Just shooting the, shooting the bull about beer and... What not? This week, this last week, we reminisced about our time at Menards and all kinds of good stuff like that. So, if that interests you, you can go over and listen to that. We'd appreciate your your listens on there. So, yeah, all kinds of good stories. You never know how many stories we'll get from that. We could go on for years. So, anyway, that's it for us for this week. Make sure that you check us out on all of the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and make sure that if you haven't already done it, Subscribe to us right here on YouTube and like and comment. All right. Did I cover everything? I think so. I left out Twitter, but I don't really care about Twitter. No one does. Yeah. So anyway, until next week, we will see you. I promise. Prost. Salut. Hello, travelers. Thanks, Landon and Beth. Uh, and welcome back to our house for another week of quarantine beers. What we got this week, honey? Uh, shockingly enough, since I was the one who went to the store, we've got another dark beer. Oh. Uh, this one is a Gandy Dancer Porter from Potosi Brewing. Um, did a little bit of... Wait, wait. Before you do that, why don't you explain why we're doing that? <laughs> okay. So this is a bottle popper as opposed to a bottle opener. And it makes the caps come off a little bit nicer to fit in our little Wisconsin-shaped map for bottle caps. Um, and So basically we, it takes we, the cap off without bending it. Exactly. So there's no bend, so it fits nice and flat and it looks nice. 
And while we've obviously drank a lot of Potosi beer before, we've not had a nice cap come off. So we're going to use the, the fun bottle opener on the vlog today. Did it yeah. work? Sometimes oh. you got to do it twice. There we go. Oh, it's got and a magnet it on it. pops right out. Nice and flat. All right. So, and the branding on it isn't brewery related, but it's somewhere my dad used to work. So, so this was, and what beer was this? This is the Gandhi Dancer. So I was curious, so I did a little bit of research on the term. And I guess Gandhi Dancer was a slang term for people who laid uh, railroad tracks. So if you look at the label on this one, there is a train on it. And the, the term... The dancer part of the term comes from they'd get in a rhythm and it was almost like they were dancing as they were laying the track, you know, before oh. you had machinery to do it. Okay. I've been working on a railroad song kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And they're not sure where the term Gandhi came from. There's different different theories, but no consistent hmm. uh, conclusion. Well, but cheers. Cheers. It smells good. Ooh. Well, it tastes like a porter. It does taste like a porter. Uh, it's got good, got some good malt to it. A um, little bit of sweetness. A little bit. Some bitterness. Some bitterness from from the malts as well. Um, it's not the chocolate porters that I've been bringing home lately. No, no. It tastes. It tastes. It's a, this is it's more a like true regular, porter. Regular porter yep. now, as opposed to. The sweeter stuff. Do you like it? I do. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna add this to your repertoire. Probably. Show them what your uh, coaster is. Um. So, uh, if you are interested in DVDs of the uh, Taproom Travelers episodes, they do exist. Uh, when things open up again, I think they sell them at the Volume One store, the, the lo local, local store. store in Eau Claire. In Eau Claire. Downtown. Um. This one was a misprint, but it makes a great coaster. <laughs> cool. I like this one. I think it'll get even better as it starts to warm up a little. Yeah, we let it warm for probably about an hour or so. No, a little less maybe. Probably a little less than that. But yeah, I, I like it not quite fridge cold for most dark beers. But So uh, would you drink this with or would you just drink this on your own? Um, on its own? Yes, I would drink this alone. <laughs> yes, you would drink this alone with nobody else. <laughs> then I don't have to share. That's true. Um, I'd say, again, this is I like dark beers with steaks. Um, oh, by the way, we did do that coffee-rubbed ribeye. We um, did. Rib eye. We talked or, about it yeah, a couple eye, weeks right? ago. Yeah, it was delicious. It was really good because what I didn't even think of, we looked up a recipe and you got a... Mix the coffee with a bunch of brown sugar, and then it kind of caramelized on the steak. And it was really good. Yeah. And we went out and bought some coffee so we can do it again. And by went out, I mean ordered it because quarantine, quarantine life. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and our we'll quarantine's have to... been extended. Yes. For Wisconsin. Yes, it has. You know Which, what? It's, well, it's, it's, it's a good the right, thing. It's it, the right call. It, it, I think it's the right call. I'm hoping that, you know, they say. We may never know if we w did too much, but we'll definitely know if we didn't do enough. And I'd rather, yep. I'd rather do too much than not do enough. And it's a balancing act, though, too, because I mean, you got the the economy on the other end of the spectrum. Don't get much of an economy if everyone's. Dead. But anyway, enough politics. <laughs> Let's get back to the beer. And I think we were. Um, any any other uh, final thoughts on this one? Well, I was looking at the label. And their tie-in, bringing it full circle back to where I started, the tie-in to the Gandhi Dancer is that this beer harmonizes the complexity as well. Oh, so it's so, like the, the balance is showing mm -hmm. through the railroad yep. analogy. Yep. So I That's like fun. it. I don't know if Potosi has like a major railroad passing through. I didn't do that much research. But here, uh, you know, we used to live in Altoona, just a couple miles from Altoona, where there is the major mm -hmm. railroad um, branch point. So I thought it was a fun little pulling it all together. Cool. Yeah. Well, 
Well, I think we're going to pass it on to either the credits, Troy, Andy, or maybe even someone else. You never um, know. We should probably mention to make sure you subscribe to our channel. Um, we're on a bunch of social media, Untapped and Facebook, and Landon's doing a great job with Instagram. Mm-hmm. And we got that amazing podcast we're doing. I was going to say, we've got the podcast now, too. It's pretty fun. It's mm-hmm. just us kind of sitting around for probably about an about hour, an hour usually. usually and just talking about stuff. And we don't stay quite so much on the beer topic for that one. But, you know, it's basically like just sitting down and hanging out with the Taproom mm-hmm. Travelers. But anyway, cheers, cheers and prost. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.